Welcome again, friends, on Lectures of ETAP Level 1 and Lecture 2. In this portion, we are going to discuss about adding the passwords on a project and user IDs for a project and uh, different uh, users with different access uh, levels. Hence, forward. Uh, we click on open uh, sorry on new project new project and give a file name like uh, uh, for example I gave Kabul one and change the direction according to myself DRS um, file name I give it as couple one already I had the same so click yes then the unit um, uh, 50 Hertz the password required yes I take it mark then the mm, open database connectivity I select as a local SQL database and advanced parameters uh, the buffer size uh, as a default I take it and page timeout in seconds 600 seconds and in database uh, the user ID of the database while the file is open in Excel files the data uh, based uh, softwares then uh, the user ID and the password I gave it as one two three four five six seven eight nine till nine okay um, it shows that this user ID is at the default is selected I select yes then I click in OK takes little time on my system then about user informations uh, the username I gave it HP1 and full name uh, HP uh, user Uh, one little description I gave it as practical and I as I clicked on the password now here the option of the password and confirmation of the password is uh, on so I give a password of one two three four five this password is different than the previous password that we had given from 1 to 9 that is for database this is for the project uh, confirm 1 2 3 4 5 and access level permissions uh, for the project for this user for the user of HP1 uh, I click which type of access this user be able to do on the project be as administrator be as a project editor, uh, a base editor, a uh, revision editor, and checker, browser, uh, librarian, controller, and operator. In level, in second level of our lectures, uh, now we are in f first level, level one, lecture two. In the second level, we will discuss all these details uh, with you. I wish so so I click OK now the project is going to be open here uh, the it's uh, loading the uh, project file please wait uh, while it have loads the dat database
now it's open so we maximize our uh, single line diagram page uh, we go through the file in the file uh, we know the new project about to open the project uh, we click on open the project and any project that has been already uh, prepared by someone else we open uh, via this option and the, uh, the third one is to close the project and log off this is very important now uh, this will uh, close the project uh, sorry it will not close the project it will change the user of the project uh, now my user is HP1 I click so I change it uh, there are some settings uh, about the auto save the project after uh, how many minutes it will auto save so I take it as a one minute or you can take it later uh, about the options disable auto save uh, we can but uh, we, we require it yeah, maybe sometimes some of the files we add then uh, our PCB can turn off and uh, our, our changes will not be saved so we keep it as ticked then the prompt before saving this is a very uh, short message that uh, shows you know, whether we want to save the changes in the project or not so as I have taken it for one minute every one minute one message will come so it will annoy me so I, I take it off save now uh, I clicked on log off I logged off the user one for the project name Kabul the path of that project is the dir directory which has already given now uh, I add a user uh, HP one and password for the project for the etap file project was one two three four five one two one two nine was related to the database it is not required for us to discuss about now so click OK the file and user name one now I change the mm, accessibility of uh, user HP1 that whether this HP1 be mm, administrator or the project editor or base editor uh, revision editor checker browser librarian and controller operator whatever that we require so uh, you know, before the first I was as administrator uh, that all the uh, options were ticked on I take it again now the user manager username file all the descriptions are given that HP1 is ad, as an admin and full name administrator, default administrator. Now, uh, as I have selected this user as uh, uh, administrator, we have an option of change the password. From here, we can change the password. Uh, we can disable the password. Uh, we can have the user information uh, we can change the uh, open database uh, connectivity parameters that we had already defined at the first then uh, more important is add user this is uh, the point of discussion for us that we in this portion we add user for this project another user uh, HP sorry HP2 uh, 
php to user and description practical mm, I can have different users uh, with uh, different passwords so for the uh, second user HP2 I give one two as a password confirm it one two uh, what type of accessibility this user could have being as administrator project editor or whatever we select or uh, we enable or disable the options so it uh, maybe for HP2 for example I take it as as a uh, uh, librarian this user cannot do anything except uh, saving the libraries we will discuss in uh, in second level of our lectures um, or project revision also I can add I add many users with HP3 uh, HP3 user description as a view mm, uh, reviser and password uh, reviser sorry I uh, description I gave it as uh, for my simplicity browser password I give uh, 1313 confirm it 13 one three and type of the type of the user I select as browser likewise we can add many users with a different uh, type of accessibility and different levels of accessibility uh, here I close it now uh, these are the projects uh, previous done projects in this portion uh, we had known that uh, what the login means now we had uh, logged into um, uh, HP2 so that's why we don't have many options here to edit editing options we do not have uh, already we uh, had not created uh, we select Kabul 1 uh, now from here uh, I add the username H, uh, HP 2 password for HP 2 was 1 2 click it this one can only revise this is a revision editor it takes little time to open now it's open if the project was here uh, this uh, user can only uh, revise uh, can be as a revision editor again we log off this is uh, what log off is doing we can add here another username another password that we had already uh, described good luck for the next lecture